Hello, I'm Dr. Diane Glover. I'm one of the pediatric infectious disease specialists here at Swedish, and I'm here to talk to you today about influenza. Influenza season is right around the corner, and it could be a severe influenza epidemic year, or it could be less predictable. But what we need to focus on is what, what, what we can do to help protect your children from getting influenza, and also what to do when they get influenza. Influenza is a virus uh, that causes infection anywhere from the nose down into the lung tissues, and it may rarely, rarely cause inflammation in the heart, inflammation in the muscles, or inflammation in the brain. In infants, in particular, it may be a very nonspecific illness. They may just have fever. They may just forget to breathe. They may just struggle and wheeze and have fast breathing and um, and a fever. Uh, in older children, it's more like you and I getting influenza. They are achy, they have a stuffy runny nose, cough, sore throat, uh, fever, and they just want to go lie down in a dark room. Um, but uh, in infants, it, can, it may be a particularly serious infection. In children age under two, it's not uncommon to be a reason to be admitted to the hospital in the winter time. And here at Swedish, we may have infants and children with influenza uh, in the hospital um, frequently in the winter time. So the measures to keep your child comfortable are controlling the fever, encouraging fluids, letting them rest. In an infant, close observation for fevers, for respiratory distress. Uh, and um, if you are feeling like you're getting the flu, very good idea to try to keep yourself as separate as you can from uh, vulnerable people. But influenza can jump across the room if you cough or sneeze and infect somebody six feet away. Uh, the vaccine is very effective in pre preventing influenza and we recommend it in any age over six months. And it also this year has the, vac the uh, virus um, a component of the vaccine is from the virus from last year, the H1N1, so we'll, we'll also protect against that. Uh, but I think if your child is not responding to the usual measures at home to keep them comfortable, if they have, have a high fever, or if they're an infant uh, and you're concerned, you need to call your provider. And um, uh, we, would, um, we would want those infants to be watched very closely. Thank you.